Oh, hello there. Danny from Surfer here. Welcome back. Happy to see your face. So this lesson is going to talk all about NLP and BERT. <laughs> B-E-R-T. If you don't know what that means or stands for, don't worry. Just keep watching. Let's dive in, shall we? So here's what we know affects rank on Google. We're talking backlinks, site performance, word count, and domain authority. Easy peasy, no? Another crucial ranking factor that Google considers is content, and that's where things can get slightly more complex. SEOs have been trying to make content as relevant as possible for a long time. We all know we need to include words and phrases that Google associates with our niche. This is why old techniques like keyword stuffing, which basically means putting as many variations of the main keyword as you can into a text, and manipulative anchors for internal linking or creating several pages for every version of the main keyword even exist. Because in theory, a page that uses the main keyword multiple times over and over is clearly more relevant to its niche than the page that only uses this keyword once or twice, right? Well, not anymore. Google's algorithms are getting smarter and smarter every day. Google tries to understand the content on the web pages the way users do, real people like you and me. They use both simple and advanced algorithms to do this. This is why spammy content won't get you anywhere anymore, no matter how many times you force that keyword into the text. This is also why it's not enough to just put your keywords in your headings and subheadings and boom, call it a day. Google wants quality. The great part is that there's another algorithm we're sure Google uses to analyze content, and we can use it as well. It's called BERT, B-E-R-T. The BERT algorithm is based on NLP, which stands for Natural Language Processing. It basically means that it's backed by machine learning and not only a simple equation, and that it keeps learning new things all the time. With BERT, Google is now better at understanding the context of each sentence in the article. It no longer treats words as separate instances, but is able to grasp how they all fit together as a whole. It helps Google comprehend long tail keywords and niche topics that could otherwise be misinterpreted. Wow, okay, so a lot of information so far. I just want to do a quick pause and check in to make sure that you're understanding that things are clear. So when we're talking about BERT and keyword density, there are three topics that we're going to dissect even further. We're gonna talk about entities, category, and salience. Ready? The entity is a word or phrase that represents an object, which can be identified, classified, and categorized, such as persons, goods, events, numbers, organizations. You get the idea. So for Google, Samsung is no longer a random word. It knows it's about phones. So if you randomly place the word Android in a text about baking vegan cookies, there's no way it'll rank in a SERP, where people are searching for the best Android phones. Next, we have categories. Thanks to NLP, Google can categorize content based on its understanding. For example, internet and telecom, or mobile and wireless. So Samsung would fall into that category, but unfortunately, vegan cookies would not. I really love vegan cookies. Okay, but I digress. <laughs> Let's talk about salience. The salience in NLP represents the entity's importance in a text. This ranges from 0.0, .0 to 1.0. The higher the salience value, the more important and relevant the entity is for the subject of the page. For instance, the word galaxy may be important, in fact, more important than iOS when talking about Samsung. So I suppose the big question here is, how do you factor in all of these components without losing your head at the same time. Tools. Friends, you need tools. At Surfer, we have our own algorithm that incorporates semantic and correlation analysis, website rendering, and machine learning, so you can be sure our recommendations will always be super informed and data-driven. If you use our content editor, you can receive accurate guidelines on prominent phrases to use only by setting up a search for your keyword and all of it happens in real time. You'll be told which keywords to include, how often to include them, which should be written as headers, and you'll be notified if your keyword density gets too high so that you can focus your attention on the important part, which is writing quality content that your audience will love. What's super cool is that we put these keywords directly in the outline builder. See those highlighted terms? They're the most prominent terms. Now, I'm not a mind reader, but I can almost feel that your shoulders dropped at least an inch after hearing this information. <laughs> I hope you're feeling more relaxed and more confident. So I think that's enough for now, at least for this lesson. In the next lesson, we're going to talk about why it's so important to meet your customer where they are on their buyer's journey. In the meantime, 
Happy surfing. I'll see you in the next lesson.